Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this TA Tech Tip, we are going to show you how to complete test setup panel in WinTest DMA software version 8. So far, you must have selected your fixtures, finished compliance compensation, and inserted your sample following previous parts of this TA Tech Tip series. In this panel, you can select which control modes are used for both the mean level and the dynamic amplitude. You can choose which of these four channels is your oscillating variable, displacement, load, stress, or strain. In addition, there is the option to turn on force track for mean level control and set up auto range bounds in this panel. These two options help you to better monitor your test when your sample changes during the course of the experiment. It is difficult to predict sample creep beforehand. With force track, you do not need any advanced knowledge of the required mean load for a sample. You can just define the mean load as a percentage of the dynamic load amplitude even if the dynamic load is applied in terms of a strain or displacement. If force track is selected, the mean level is automatically calculated by the system. The new mean level is equal to the entered force track times the required load amplitude for the test as measured by the system. This mean level is recalculated continuously throughout the test. So, let's say the force track was set to 100% at a mean amplitude of 1 newton with an oscillation force of 1 newton. This would be the absolute minimum static force so that your force would vary from 0 to 2 newtons. However, we like to have a little cushion, so we go with 120% force track. If we use this new setting, the force would range from 0.2 newtons to 2.2 newtons. When you use a tensioning clamp like the film clamp or tension clamps, sometimes you need to impose an additional static force above the oscillation force to prevent the specimen from buckling. Similarly, if you do compression testing or three-point bend testing, you also need to use force track to keep the specimen in contact with the upper geometry. A force track of 110 to 125 percent is usually a good value to start with. Also in the test setup panel are the settings for the auto range bounds. The auto range feature for the DMA adaptive controller will adjust the waveform if needed. For instance, it will adjust the waveform to keep the test running within the capacity of your sensors. Auto range bounds are automatically populated based on your geometry and system limits. You should adjust auto range bounds to fall within your limits. Another function of auto range bounds is providing an extra layer of control not to lose contact with your sample. For example, these two tables show using auto range feature to maintain a minimum preload on the sample. In the case of compression, this will ensure that fixtures do not come out of contact with the sample. And for tension, you will ensure that the sample doesn't buckle. A small load in the direction of loading is set to make sure the test continues as planned. In this TA Tech Tip, we demonstrated how to complete test setup panel. Please subscribe for more helpful tips from TA Instruments and thank you for your interest.